So there's all these people on the front row. It's like Nicki Minaj, Mary J. Blige, Neo, Chris Brown, yeah. Drake. <laughs> I don't know, the list goes on and on. Just everyone that's super famous was there. It was crazy. There. It was nuts. Just give so me a chance, I know I'll change your mind. Though I know, you know, I know, I'm wasting my time. Oh. Acapella masters Pentatonix are enjoying incredible success on the charts after the release of their debut album, PTX Volume 1, landed at number 14 on the Billboard Top 200 chart after its release in June of 2012. After the band won the third season of the sing-off on NBC and took home the grand prize of $200,000 and a Sony recording contract, the band took the amazing talents into the studio to begin working on the new album. It seems no matter where Pentatonix perform, they keep winning over fans and peers alike with a full range of covers from some of today's hottest artists like Nicki Minaj, Maroon 5, Gautier, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, and Beyonce. So has the band heard back from any of the artists they cover? Artisan News recently sat down with Scott and Kevin to find out if they've gotten any positive feedback from any of the musicians they have covered. Yeah. yeah, the artists seem to really yeah, like it. Yeah, they seem to like it. I, yeah. It's exciting. Gautier yeah, Gautier, yeah, Gautier really likes it. Actually, a guy who helped us arrange that, yeah. um, his name is Ben, he was at, ran into Gautier at a bar and was like, hey, Gautier, you need to check out this cover I did with these with this group of five people, Pentaton. He's like, I just saw it. My dad showed me. I loved it. Tell them they're awesome. So that was cool. Yeah. I don't know if I've um, seen it. Um, yeah. I think the another one, I think Adam Levine, he, I think he oh, saw Oh, Adam him. Levine saw him. It was like Jagger and he yeah. loved it. Um, oh, and yeah, and then Kelly Rowland. Oh, and Kelly Rowland, sorry. Yeah. She just tweeted ours. Pentatonix even won over Nicki Minaj after dedicating a version of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On to her during the performance at the 2012 NBA All-Star Game weekend. Scott even talked about how much that meant to the band to get acceptance from not only Nicki, but Chris Brown, Mary J. Blige, Neo, and Drake. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. That was one of the coolest memories of my life. Yes. He needs to tell the story about Nicki Minaj. Oh, it was nuts. He needs, okay. to, he needs to tell the story. So there's all these people on the front row. It's like Nicki Minaj, Mary J. Blige, Neo, Chris Brown, yeah. Drake. <laughs> I don't know. The list goes on and on. Just everyone that's super famous was It was, was crazy. There. It was nuts. And so we're obviously very nervous, but we get to sing Let's Get It On, which is an arrangement we love to sing. Yeah. And so right before we're about to go on, I was like, hey should we dedicate this to Nicki Minaj? And the group was like, I don't uh, think you're allowed to do that. Yeah, and I was like, like why not? I don't know. They can't stop me. I'll have the microphone. So they're like, do it if you want. And um, our manager was like, I mean, yeah, do it. Yeah, so why not? So, so we went on stage and um, I was like, before I start the song to the stadium of people, I was like, I have to dedicate <laughs> it to you, Nicki Minaj. And she like looked over and was like caught off guard, but yeah. smiled and like waved. And then we sang, let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. And, um, and she was just laughing, and yeah. Lil Wayne got up and started he dancing, just and Chris Brown was singing like along, was so and they funny. were all so into it. Yeah. And um, and she was so excited. She thanked us afterwards, and then Neo came up to us afterwards yeah. and was like, y'all can sing. Oh, and my like, goodness. It was just nuts. It's one of those moments where you're like, wait, what is our lives? Exactly. So nuts. Not only that, it's just like also to get validation from people who we look up to, who are in the yeah. mainstream doing what, we're, what we want to do, and we're an acapella group, so to know that we're trying to bridge that gap, you know, to get that validation is really helpful for us. Pentatonix, who draws influences from pop, dubstep, electro, reggae, and hip-hop, round out their five-piece group with Kirsty Maldonado, Mitch Grassi, and Avi Kaplan. PTX Volume 1 also ranks number two among independent albums and number five among digital albums, all while becoming the highest charting a cappella record ever. Pentatonix are gearing up for their first headlining tour in support of PTX Volume 1 with a sold-out show at BB King's in New York on September 12th and the Roxy Theater in L.A. on September 25th. Full tour dates will be announced in the very near future.